Once the people of God got into the Holy Land, they were faced with a lot of challenges. And the most important challenge was whether they were going to remain faithful to God, to God's covenant. And so you have the history of the judges, where for a while people would be faithful, a judge would come when there was problems and bring them back to God, and they would fall off again. Finally, they came to the idea we needed a king. It was a very controversial decision in the Old Testament. Nonetheless, King David was there, and he was held to be a model. He would be kind of the high priest, he would be the chief executive officer, he would be the father of the nation. And pretty quickly, David fell into sin. We all know the story of Bathsheba, we all know about the killing of Uriah the Hittite, uh, Bathsheba's husband and so on. And David really had all kinds of problems with his family. He becomes a symbol of humanity in need of redemption. And what is God going to do? Well, the kingdom was divided and so the promise came that there would be a Messiah, an anointed one who would bring Israel and Judah back together. That they would no longer be divided, but they would be one. And at this particular point, the prophets came in. Uh, traditional prophets, uh, large numbers of them, but then individuals began to stand out. And, and above all, in the history of Israel, Isaiah has the primary place, I believe. Just as he is a key uh, prophet in the Advent season, as we look for the coming of Christ, the beginning, so he's also there who comes and preaches to the people and says, you know, your sins may be like scarlet, but I will make them white like snow. We Canadians can identify with that. It's a big challenge for us. We're happy when the snow goes, but what we need is we need the purity, the whiteness, the, uh, the beginning again.